way out so that you can stand up under it. Praise the Lord. The God's grace, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Word of God, the Spirit's indwelling power in Christ's heavenly intercession brings sufficient power for the believers to be victorious over the power of sin Amen. and demonic influences. Another thing why we fall is by the influence is by the influence of the world. We should not be influenced of the things that are not pleasing to God. James 4 verse 4. Verse 4, you are daughter's people. Don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred toward God? Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Praise the Lord. Myself again. I remember my second Saturday here in Malta. That time I was just almost two weeks here. That time, I was very, very homesick because to be away from my family, this is the worst that I experienced. And that time, I don't have friends already, just Joy, my cousin. So that time, I need Joy's company very much. So it was Saturday, my second Saturday here, she called me. She said, Ate Emma, Ask your employer that you will sleep here tonight in my flat. We will go to Pachibil in memories. <laughs> so I asked her, what is Pachibil? What is memories? What are you doing there? So she said, we are doing this, we are doing that. So I said, no joy, I don't go in a place like that. Sorry, I will not come. Thanks, but I will not come. I have to find my church tomorrow. She said again, but you can come with me in the church in Valletta because I'm attending, uh, attending mass every Sunday at 5 to 6, I think in Santa Barbara. But I said again, no joy, I need Bordelian church, not Catholic church. Uh, thank you, but I will not come, I said. Don't worry, because I will find my church tomorrow. So she said that, okay, it's up to you. So the next day, which is Sunday, I went to Valletta to find church, just by myself. When I arrived there, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I go. I don't know where the church is. What I know is I have to find church that day. And that time, there are a lot of people in Paleta. I think half nine or nine in the morning, it was Sunday. And I feel so alone. So I just walk, I just walk around and praying. God, give me church today. God, give me church today. I don't know how, but you know how. I said. I pray to God. So, just I walk around and pray. And after a few minutes, because that time, I can say that I was so sincere in my prayer, that my faith that time is... God will not fail me that I can find church that day. And after a few minutes, Ellen came to me by mistake. 
Ede. She thought that I am her friend. When I saw her, I cried. I cried when I saw her, I cried. And then we talked. And praise the Lord. Because that time, Ellen will come to this church to attend the service. So I came with her. That is how I found this church. And that is why also, I don't have doubt in my heart that this is the church that God gave me. Because I prayed for it. And this testimony, I shared it to my church in the Philippines when I went back home last year. How I found this church. Because God is so good. So, as Christians, so God is so good. As Christians, we must not be a friend of the world. But you know what? I'm not happy because joy is not coming to church. My brothers and sisters, please add joy in your prayer. Sometimes Satan uses also our job in our dreams for us to stop running. There are things that seem they are will of God, but at the end, they are not. So we must know and understand the will of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, we are on the right way already. What we have to do is to go straight and keep on running to win the prize. Like Darren said in his message before, that Christian life goes like this. It is true because of trials and temptations. We are not always strong. Sometimes we become weak. We feel that our test or our trial is so heavy. But God gives us hope that He upholds us to run again. Yes, we are running like this. But the important is we are still on the right way. That we are still running on the right way. That we are, that we don't stop. That we are not turning right or turning left or turning back. We have to go straight and keep on running to win the prize. We have to go straight because at the end, we will have the prize, the crown that will last forever, which is eternal life. Amen. I have known Christians that they have served the Lord for a long time. And then they stopped. They went back to the world again. And then they died. What do you think will happen to them? Are they saved? Are they saved? They are not saved. Because they are in sin when they died. Those years that they have served the Lord went for nothing. They lost the price. If they are saved, what is the reason why I myself came back to the Lord and served Him again? I have served the Lord from 1985 to 1992. So that's enough. And I can have this crown. But it's not like that. But those who endure until the end, those who finish the race, will get the prize. In our race of faith, we have to fix our eyes on Jesus. The only way to win the prize. We look to Jesus as our example, number one, of trusting God. That we have to put our trust in God. That we look, number two, that we look to Jesus as our example of commitment to God's will. 
that we have to commit ourselves in